I'm Mark Kennedy with Garage Gurus. Today's tech tip, we want to talk about doing an insulation test on the high voltage wires or leads that are on these hybrid vehicles. Uh, we have some previous tech tips that we've filmed there on our YouTube channel that talk about service disconnects, uh, how to properly disconnect this from the back of the vehicle. We have also have uh, videos out there that talk about how to do the live dead live test to verify that the system is dead, that all the high voltage is stored in the battery in the back of the vehicle, nothing's coming up here to the front. Uh, one of the issues with doing an insulation test is if there's any voltage on that cable, the test becomes invalid. Now, let me define real quickly what we're, we're actually doing. What we're going to do is we're going to induce voltage from our meter right here. This is a special meter. It's called an insulation tester. And it's going to put 500 to 550 volts into that cable. High voltage, very low amperage. Right, it's not like this thing's going to you know, fry anything or stuff like that. But what we're looking for is we're looking to see if there's any of that voltage that can leak out. So we're going to compare the leads or the cables to ground. I'm going to show you how to hook all this up here in a second. And by doing that comparison and putting that voltage in, the meter will actually read the resistance internally into that circuit. Now the meter is only going to go to about 550 million ohms of resistance and if it hits that value then that tells me there is no leak to or no continuity to ground and that that cable is good, there's nothing wrong with it. I can use this same test, we're just going to test the, the high voltage leads that go from the inverter back to the battery, but I could use the same test for any high voltage lead that might be on the vehicle, uh, leads that go to the AC compressor. Let's say maybe it looks like they've been rubbing somewhere on the harness or the chassis or the motor. Uh, leads that may go from the inverter down to the uh, motor generators. Uh, maybe issues there where uh, there's spots that are rubbed and you're not sure if it's actually leaking voltage out. So we can test those also. All right. So let me go ahead and grab my gloves. I do get texts that ask me questions. They'll say, hey, Mark, if it's high voltage but low amperage, do you really need the gloves? And I don't know if I've ever given a good answer to that question. I basically have said, you know what, anytime I'm working around high voltage, I'm going to use gloves. I'm not scared of high voltage, but I do give it the respect it deserves. And also, I have no guarantees that just because I've done all the tests, right, that that actual cable, something may have not happened in the back, maybe there's voltage present. And I don't want to have my meter hooked up in there expecting to get one thing to happen and something else happens because who knows on these vehicles, you know, what the potential risks are. So I'm always going to protect myself at this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and glove up. We've got the proper meter. So let me step over here to the side of the vehicle, okay? Make it a little easier so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna take my two leads, okay? And let me go ahead and turn the meter on. I'm gonna flip it up here to the 500 volt scale, okay? And we have this nice ground lug right here, GM provides to the chassis ground. Connect my ground to that. And I also have two ways to activate the test. I can push this little test button right here on the lead, or I can actually push the button on the meter itself. And all I need to do is, and it takes a little bit of finagling here, but to get this into that, where that spade terminal is, and I'm just gonna push the button, all right? Notice we put about 526 volts into the system, and I've got 550 million ohms of resistance. That is a good lead right there. That is a good conductor that goes back to the battery. There's no leaks. So I'm going to go ahead and test the other one. All right. And watch down here at the bottom. You'll see how much voltage I'm putting in. Let me get this in there. And then we'll measure the resistance. And again, we see about 526 volts being induced into the circuit. And I'm getting a reading of 550 million ohms of resistance. Also another good lead or good conductor, if you want to call it that. Um, these terminals, I mean, I'm sorry, these cables here, going back to the battery, have no leaks. They're in good shape. And uh, <coughs> we should have no issues with them. All right. 
I hope this helps you techs out there to understand what that insulation test is, what it involves, uh, the equipment that's needed. Obviously, you're gonna need this meter, your protection, do your other tests first. Uh, as we talked about, you know, your service disconnect, your live dead live, make sure the circuit is dead. And then we can go ahead and do our installation test. I'm Mark Henry with Garage Gurus. For more helpful tech tips like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information on Garage Gurus, go to garagegurus.tech.